guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I dye my roots, yay! If you feel comfortable dyeing your entire head and not just your roots, then go for it. But I must preface this video by saying that I am not a professional. This is just what I do and I'm showing you guys the results that I achieve. I've been dyeing my hair blonde since my freshman year of high school, which was almost eight years ago. So I've been doing this for quite a while. As you can see, my roots look freaking horrendous. And this is about a month and a half of growth right here. So it's about that time. And like I said, this is just what I do. I'm not saying this is the correct way to do it, but a lot of people have been asking me how I get my hair color, how I dye my hair. So this has been a very requested video. So I figured I would show you guys. Let me just start off with what you're going to need. None of these items are that expensive. The first thing that you're going to want to buy, and you don't have to buy this every time, but I always lose it, so I have to always buy a new kit of this. So if you're unlike me and you're going to actually take care of your things and wash this stuff and store it in a place where you're going to remember, then you're only gonna have to buy this one time. And this comes with a pair of black latex gloves, um, a cap for your hair, as well as a brush which you will be using to apply the dye onto your hair and then a little mixing spool thingy. So this was only I think $3 at Sally's Beauty Supply. The next thing that I actually bought a couple months ago but this will last you a while as well is this mixing bowl and I believe this was like two three dollars and then what I'm using is this Color Brilliance Ion 100% fade resistance gray coverage high lift ash blonde and I'll put all that information right here on the screen so you could see exactly what color it is what the number on the box is so if you want to go and buy this exact color at Sally's go ahead and do so another thing that you're going to want is either some sort of plastic thing to put over your shoulders or if you're like me and you don't want to bother with all that stuff just wear a t-shirt that you really don't care about this is actually my boyfriend's shirt So I will meet you guys in the bathroom where I will show you how to mix this shit up and put it on your head. Let's go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to squeeze this entire tube of this Color Brilliance Cream into your mixing bowl. Going to be putting in equal parts of cream and equal parts of developer into your bowl. Now you could do this by using the measurements that are right here on the side of this bowl or you could just do what I do. I pretty much just eyeball it. Just as long as you're pretty sure that there's equal amounts of each of these two products in here, you'll be fine. Once you have combined both the developer and the dye, it's going to look something like this. Make sure that you've stirred it enough so there's no lumps in it or anything. And so it looks like a nice, smooth, creamy consistency. So I have my latex gloves on, I have my mixture of hair dye, and I also have my brush slash applicator that I will be using to put the hair dye directly onto my hair. Okay, so what you're going to want to do now is to section your hair. The way that I like to section my hair is in half. So what I'll do is I'll start off on one half of my hair and then work my way over to the other side. Start right here at your part and you're going to take your brush, which I can't seem to find right now. You're going to apply some product onto the brush and then just brush that onto your roots. Don't be afraid to apply a little bit more because you don't want any patches or spots. So there I have done that part and then I'm just going to take my finger and section off another side, flip my hair over, and then do this. And then you're pretty much just going to work your way all the way across. Make sure that you get this part of your hair, so you make sure you don't forget that part. Ba, 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 ba. 
Okay, so I'll see you guys in 45 minutes to show you the results. So I just finished washing my hair. I put my Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo only around my roots. I didn't put it on the ends because I feel like if I put it on my ends, um, my ends catch a lot quicker and they'll turn like this weird grayish silver color. So I wanted to avoid that as much as possible. But pretty much here are the results. I have my hair back so you can really see how my roots look. Uh, certain parts of my hair, like for example here by my ears, turned more of a light yellow color and that's fine. With continued use of the Shimmer Lights Shampoo, you're going to notice that a lot of that yellowness, brassiness is eventually going to fade away. So what you see it as now is not gonna be 100% perfect, but you are doing it at home, you're doing it for a lot cheaper, so you really can't expect 100% perfect salon quality results. In order to see that it's not perfect, you'd really have to get really up close, and I've achieved the overall desired look that I was pretty much going for in the beginning. So if you've already dyed your hair, or if your hair is some crazy color, I'm gonna just tell you right now, your results are probably not going to be this. But if you have light to medium brown hair, if you have virgin hair, then most likely the results will look similar to this. Thanks guys for watching my video, and if you have any more questions about this whole process, because I know it's super confusing, let me know in the comment section below. I will leave all the products that I use in the description box below, and thanks guys for watching.